Hey, this is Jeff with Miller's RV. How are you out there in RV world? I am so excited today. We finally have the new Winnebago Solus 59PX in stock. Now the X is a new product for 2021. It's a longer body Solus and it has a generator and a roof air conditioner, which is very important to us. Not only that, but this generator is the brand new ultra quiet Onan 2.8. I'll tell you more about that later. Hey, before we get started, if you will, like this video, subscribe, turn on the notifications so you can know whenever we come out with new material. We do our best to keep you informed. So also, if you have questions you want us answered, whether it's about the Solus or whether it's about anything RVing related, please make a comment below and we will put a video out there for you answering those questions. But I know what you want to do. You want to see this product, so let's take a look at it. Okay, so the Solus is built on the Ram Promaster chassis. Great product. We're going to get inside in just a minute. I just want to start outside. This is Winnebago. Winnebago is quality. Winnebago is over engineering stuff and Winnebago has targeted this unit particularly at that outdoor uh, enthusiast, the one who wants to go off road, the one who wants to take his bikes, the one who wants to go uh, hiking, be able to get off grid. But part of the things they've done to make it more compatible for that is just put heavier duty stuff in there. The steps on most of the B vans out there are like flimsy as can be. This thing is solid. It's long enough so you can easily get in and out. It's got dog leash tie downs on the front and the back. Now, I recently watched National Lampoon's Vacation. Do not tie your dog to the step before you drive off. Just saying. Anyway, motorhome is great. I also love this new screen in, mosquito screen. But look at this. Magnets, so when you let go, it just locks right back in place. Opens up really easily so you can go in and out and still have your screen to keep the bugs out during the day. Great feature. Let's take a look at what makes this product so unique and then we'll go through some more of the features I think you'll really like. Okay, so we're inside of this unit, and before I show you the sleeping part, I just want to point out the little front sitting area here. So, front two captain's chairs, typical Ram Promaster chairs. The mid two chairs are a nice, uh, it's kind of a European look. They seem they're really like really close together. Uh, two adults can sit there, it's not bad. Uh, made for kids more than for adults, but two adults can sit there and it's comfortable. It's three point shoulder harnesses on all four seats, so very safe. Also, this nice table, pedestal table, removes if you don't need it, but it's a great little pedestal table if you want to sit here and work. Uh, and that's another thing about this. A lot of people now during COVID are actually going on the road with their job. This is a great vehicle that you can go on the job. You have an area here you can work. And I'm gonna show you another area in the back. You can actually open up the back doors, have a beautiful view of what's behind you, have a workspace there as well. But what makes this space, what makes this great, I'll show you the rear bed in the back, but what's different is this bed right here. If you see this, we have this awesome collapsible ladder here. And it's a two-piece ladder that fits together uh, very securely. This locks in, slides down just like so, and then latches to both sides. So you have a ladder, and if you have any question why you have a ladder, is for this. You can actually open up a top, a pop-top tent, just like the old Westphalia vans, except it's actually bigger. Uh, there's this great sleep system in, you have a nice molded canopy here, uh, great ventilation up top, but you also have the air conditioning. The air conditioning does cool well enough that I can picture a fan right here kind of blowing up just to give you some little airflow up there, but it's great. Come take a look up here what it looks like. Okay, so here we are up in the bunk area. Um, you can see I'm six feet tall and I can comfortably fit in this and sleep in this bed. Uh, surprisingly, it's a thin mattress, but because of the sleep system that Winnebago has put in here is actually very, very comfortable. Um, plenty of room, it doesn't feel claustrophobic at all. You have screens on the front and rear you can leave open. So when you're having the screens, you can either open the screens for ventilation or if it's when you want to have the air conditioner going, you leave the two screens closed and just open the window here behind me and you don't let all your cold air out. Uh, so it really is very comfortable, it's big enough. Uh, I would have no problem sleeping up here whatsoever. I'm excited about this product, I really, really am. Let's take a look at the rest of the downstairs. I'll show you the other sleeping area and then some of the really cool features they have on the Winnebago Solus. So I'm back here in the rear area. Uh, great little storage area right below my feet here. Um, bathroom, of course, in a B van, the bathrooms are gonna be small. Uh, that's kind of what you get, but I'll show you a great little outside shower thing they have in a little bit. One thing that's neat is this little table here. So again, when I mentioned earlier that people wanna work from home, this is a table that can be set up here. So if you're facing forward, or the table can actually be moved back here, set up where you're setting up here, facing out the back doors. So if you have a pretty view out back and you wanna sit here and work, it gives you that great flexibility to do it, put it either, way, either place you want it. And then you just stick it right back here, the leg folds up, and then you can lock the table in place. 
slide that down just a little bit, get it in the right place, and just lock the table in place when you're not using it. Now the bed system here, it folds down, and similar to the other one, Winnebago puts these flexible uh, beads here that are the boards here that allow you to get a more comfortable bedding area. But the part that I like is, again, I'm six feet tall. If I try to sleep inside of this van area, so if I'm sleeping here and my feet are here, my head is touching the wall, like I can't go straight. Well, Winnebago has actually cut out these two little wing areas to give an extra three or four inches on either end. So now I am laying down comfortably, my feet aren't touching, my head isn't touching, and I can comfortably sleep in the bed. So a comfortable bed with enough sleeping room, but whenever you're ready to go, it's a Murphy bed, so you simply hop up in the morning, lift the bed up, lock it in place. Now you have extra room, storage, little place to work. Uh, you can also use this for bikes, but the really cool thing is this rear garage area has L tracks along the, the top, the side, the floor, so you can hang stuff back here, whether it's bikes or anything else or other gear, you can store that back in this back area. So really, really neat thing. Uh, the Fit RV has a great video on this. They show two bikes crisscross locks into the L tracks. So really, really great features. Another thing they do, really smart stuff, like these cabinets, right? So space is a, a premium, weight is a premium on this. So instead of having to have shocks, they put magnets on the ceiling. So you get storage and it locks in place really good. Cabinets locks and are sure. Gives you good storage and space for all that. Um, the other thing, little, some simple stuff, the water fill right here. The water tank, you can actually see the water tank. So when you go back here, you can see this tank and there's a light you can turn on so you can see your level much better than having to guess or use one of those electronics. You can literally see the water level in the water tank. So really, really neat feature. Let's look in the back. I'm gonna show you this really cool shower feature and then I'm gonna run that generator. I want you to hear how quiet it actually is. Let's take my name is Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking, I'm not Tim the Toolman Taylor or his neighbor Wilson, but I am in a little shower area. So this is a little area you can use as a changing station uh, or you can use a shower. And I'll open it up so you can see a little better here. Uh, it's just Velcro's out of the way. And then the arms drop down and will snap into the, to the sides. So gets out of the way, but it does give you a little privacy area to change or with your outside shower hookup right here, be able to actually shower out here, go to the beach and rinse off whatever, whatever else, but you can open up this rear area. Really kind of a neat feature. Great place too to also see, they put these screens in, they give you the chance to insulate the, the rear window and give you a blackout shade. Uh, they also Velcro and remove, if you just want to remove them completely. So a great way to remove that. It does have the two inch receiver hitch on the back, whether you want to carry an additional bike rack or storage container on the back end. But what I mentioned earlier, what I want to show you now is the generator. So I mentioned, this is the brand new 2.8 Onan ultra quiet generator. The difference between this and the previous generators, the regular generator was a uh, carburetor, regular generator that produced straight power. This is a new inverter generator. So it's like the little Hondas you see in little portables. Um, and what it does is it produces a 12 volt power that inverts to 110. That allows it to vary the speed of the generator so you can run a lower RPM when you don't need as much power, which makes it quieter. It's also fuel injected, which takes care of one of the most common problems we get, which is people not running the generator enough and their carburetor is getting gummed up and we have to change carburetors all the time. And at three or 400 bucks, it's not exactly the best thing to do. Let's look. Okay, I'm standing here by this new ultra quiet generator and I'm gonna bend down in a second to see if you can hear how quiet this thing is. I don't know if you can hear literally over the lawnmower or the weed eater going on in the background, which are several hundred feet away from me are louder than this generator is. But you can see, I mean, there's hardly any sound at all. So huge new improvement. Also no vibration. That's another thing with the older units, you really, you know, when you were sitting right on top of those trying to sleep, it would vibrate so much. It, it was really hard uh, to use the, the B-Vans with that. This one, completely quiet, complete difference on that. So we're back inside and I want to show you just a few more things I think you're really going to like about the unit. Uh, storage is at a premium in a B-Van and what Winnebago has done is if there's a spot, they're going to put storage compartments there. So you do have the two spaces that lift up here. So you've got this great storage area. You've also got two storage areas here. The compartments on either side over here, a drawer that pulls out. Up front here we have under the seat, there's a little small storage area under the bench seats as well as another small compartment up front there as well. 
So here is a Truman water heater system and heater. So that's providing heat. Truman is a great system. You're going to love it. Holding tanks are heated. So if you go up north and it's cold, you got that. Solar charging already included in the unit. So you've got the solar charger built into this. Um, the remote propane disconnect. So you can turn that off here. And then your monitor panel up here for your, your tanks and your generator start and stop. Generator is still running, by the way. I guess I need to stop it now. I don't need it on anymore. But can't even hear the difference when it was on. I didn't realize until I saw the light on showing me that it was on. Um, last thing I want to show you, and I didn't point out, but there are 12 volt plugs all over this place. Both at every, they have a 12 volt and the USB, double USB plugs that are located place, throughout. Which is great because whether you're plugging in a cell phone, charging something, they're just all over it, as well as, of course, the 110 plugs uh, as well, which you can use that with the solar charger and the inverter on that. Okay, so I'm in the front seat uh, area here. One thing I want to show you, of course, like so many motorhomes, there is a backup camera. So when I put it in reverse, you've got a great backup camera there, which um, you know, shows you directly what's behind you. But in a motorhome, the, the rear view mirrors are really almost useless because you can't see anything. This, if you notice, this is a digital rear view mirror. There's a camera on the back that looks straight back like your rear view mirror would, and it's it's a beautiful picture. I mean, I can you know tell you the brands of the motorhomes that are sitting back there waiting for service, waiting to be sold, that are all sitting right there from the backup camera. So you have a rear view camera that looks down to help you back up in the radio display, and then you have this backup camera, so when you're going down the road, wherever you're looking to the rear, it's a straight rear view camera. Um, if, you know, all your normal features up here, Bluetooth radio connectivity, of course, and uh, the steering controls on the steering wheel. Um, great driving vehicle. I didn't mention earlier, but for those who don't know, it is a gasoline chassis. So always easy to find fuel and your generator is also gasoline. So you have more capacity for your generator. Don't have to worry about dealing with LP for the fuel as that. Uh, again, even up here, another USB, another 12 volt plug. They're all over this place. Multiple cup holders, uh, pretty comfortable seats too. So I think this is an awesome unit. And I think you might really, really enjoy it. What I'd like you to do, come take a look. We're on Florida Boulevard in Baton Rouge. Give us a call, 225-275-2940. Set up a time or even email sales at millsrv.com and we will get you an appointment set up, a chance for you to test drive it and to show you all the features in here because we're just brushing over now. I wanted to show you enough to get you excited about it. Uh, another thing too, if you would be interested in renting this unit, we're considering putting one of these in our rental fleet. If you'd be interested in renting it, would you uh, put a comment in the link below or email at rental at Miller's RV. And that's rental or rentals. They both work at millersrv.com. Email that to us. Let us know that, hey, I would be interested in renting a Solus if you had it available. Uh, I think it's a great idea with the, the sleeping for four in a B-Van, but we're considering it. So let us know. And we might put one of these in our rental fleet as well to give you that option. But I really think you'll enjoy it. It's a great vehicle. I didn't even show you the, the how connected right when you open the sliding door, the uh, refrigerator's right there and there's a hookup for water. So you have another auxiliary hookup, so you can use that outside area as a little cook area right there as well. So just so many neat features about this unit. You really need to come see it in person. Again, this is Jeff Hilliard at Miller's RV. Enjoy the journey. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this both informative and entertaining. If you will, comment below, like the video, let us know what you think about it. Also, subscribe and click that notification button so you can know when more videos come out from us. If you want to, watch one of the other videos by us over here. We hope this helps you enjoy the journey.